Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to export GradeView to Excel using JavaScript and jQuery in HP.NET. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's start. We'll start by adding a GradeView control. Now I am adding columns to the grid view. I will be adding three bond fill columns, customer ID, name and country. Now our grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. Now I'm adding a namespace system.data. I'll be making use of dynamic data table to populate the grid view. Now inside the page load event handler, I am writing the if not is post back condition. Now first I am creating a data table object. Now I am adding columns to the data table. It will be same columns what we have already defined in the grid view. Now I'm adding some rows to the data table. The grid view can also be populated from database, but in this example, it is not a requirement and hence I'm making use of a dynamic data table. Now the rows have been added. Now I'll assign the data table to the grid view and call the data bind method. The population part of the grid view is completed. Now let's run the code and see the grid view. So it is working perfectly and the grid view is displaying data from the dynamic data table. Now let's move back to the ASPX page. Now we'll start the second part which is exporting the grid view to Excel. So now I'm adding a button. On the click of this button, the grid view will be exported to Excel. Now I'm inheriting two JavaScript libraries. The first one is jQuery and the second one is table to excel jQuery plugin.
Now I'm adding script tags, within which we'll write the code to export the grid view to Excel. Now I'm assigning a click event handler to the button using jQuery. Now I am referencing the grid view using jQuery selector. I am making use of wildcard feature of jQuery selector. Next I am applying the jQuery table to excel plugin to the grid view. Now I am making use of a property called file name of the table to excel plugin. It is used to set the file name of the excel file which will be downloaded. So that's it, the plugin has been applied. Now we can run the code and check it. Now I am clicking the export button. As you can see the browser is showing the option to save the file. This warning can be ignored. The grid view has been exported to Excel successfully. So with this we come to the end of this video. The sample code and demo links are available in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you soon.